Hello and welcome. The second part of this solution of the problem processing and jobs on two machines. And this is the job sequencing of our choice. First of all, we are going to start with job number four. Job number four, the time in for this very first job on machine one is always zero. Job four requires three hours on machine one. So zero plus three, three will be time out. And this time out becomes time in on second machine. For this three hours, second machine has to wait. So this three hours becomes idle time of machine two. In case of second and subsequent machines, always the first time in becomes the idle time. That machine has to wait for this number of hours before getting the job done from the previous machine. Now, three. Job 4 requires 5 hours on machine 2. 3 plus 5, 8 will be the time out on machine 2 for job number 4. Now, on the other hand, on machine 1, after completing job number 4, it is turn of 1. This 3 becomes starting point or time in for job number 1 on machine 1. Machine 1 requires 5 hours, 3 plus 5. 8 will be time out for... Job number 1 on machine 1, 8 or 8, there is no need of comparison. As and when job number 4 ends on machine 2, job number 1 is ready to go to machine 2. Machine 1 requires 8 hours on machine 2, 8 plus 8, 16. Since these are equal, no need of calculating idle time. Now on the other end, on machine 1, this is turn of job number 3 after job completing job number 1. Job number 3, its starting time is 8. 8 plus job number 3 requires 6 hours on machine 1. 8 plus 6, 14. On machine 1, job 3 is completed at the end of 14th hour but machine 2 is busy till the end of 16th hour. So job has to wait and not the machine so there is no idle time. Idle time is there only if machine has to wait for the job. 14 or 16 whichever is greater becomes the time in for job number 3 on machine 2. Job number 3 requires 11 hours on machine 2. 16 plus 11. At the end of 27th hour it will be completed on machine 2. But on the other hand on machine 1 it is now turn of job number 6 after completing job number 3. Job number 6, this 14 becomes starting point or time in on machine 1 for job number 6. 14, job number 6 requires 6 hours on machine 1. So its time out on machine 1 is 20. But at that time machine 2 is busy. So again job has to wait, no idle time. Idle time is there only if machine has to wait. 20 or 27 whichever is higher becomes the time in for job number 6 on machine 2 because 20 to 27 hours job machine number 2 is busy in completing job number 3. 20 or 27 whichever is higher becomes time in for job number 6 on machine 2. Job number 6 requires 14 hours on machine 2. So its time out will be 24 hours. On the other hand, on machine 1, after completing job number 6, it is turn of job number 5. Job number 5, its timing is 20 on machine 1 because after completing job number 6, immediately machine 1 will take job number 5. Machine, rather job number 5 needs 9 hours on machine 1, 20 plus 9, 29. But at that point of time, machine 2 is busy in completing previous job number 6. So again there is no idle time because job is waiting and not the machine. 29 or 41 whichever is higher 41 becomes the time in for job number 5 on machine 2. Job number 5 requires 7 and half hours on machine 2. 41 plus 7.5 48.5. Now after completing job number 5 on machine 1 it is turn off Taking job number 2, 29 becomes its timing because after completing job 5, immediately machine 1 takes job number 2, 29. Job number 2 requires 16 hours 
29 plus 16, 45 will be the time out. But at that time, still machine 2 is busy in completing job number 5. So, job 2 has to wait. And since job has to wait, there is no idle time. Idle time will be there only if machine has to wait to get the job. Okay, 45 or 48.5, whichever desire, 48.5. 48.5 plus job number 2 requires 7 hours on machine 2. So it will be 55.5. 55.5 is total, minimum total time will have to complete all the 6 jobs. All the 6 jobs on 2 machines. So minimum total time elapsed equals to 55.5 hours <coughs> idle time machine 1 and machine 2 idle time of machine 2 total of this column 3 hours only first 3 hours that was and for machine 1 it will be Machine 1 completes all the jobs at the end of 45 hours and has to wait to 55.5. <coughs> so 55.5 minus 45, it comes to 10 hours. Total time left 55.5 hours. All the 6 jobs are completed in 55.5 hours in this order. Idle time. Out of 55.5 hours for machine 1 is last 10.5 hours and for machine 2 only first 3 hours. That's it. Thank you very much.